G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and my first um, tutorial in quite a bit actually. Um, I've been on holidays and so you yeah, haven't made much um, but this I'm making as per request of one of my subscribers. Now let me turn drops back on because um, I turned it off I thought. Okay it's on now anyway <laughs> and um, so what I'm about to show you is my um, advanced chicken farm. Now, the reason it's changed um, was because somebody requested that I make a, a chicken farm that was both an egg farm and a meat farm. So what I've done is I've got two sections. The top section is for the chickens that will remain. Um, so regardless of how many cycles I do, those chickens will never die and, um, and therefore uh, will never run out of um, eggs coming through the chute. So my system um, is able to process both eggs and um, chicken meat, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, so we can spawn our baby chickens here. Oops, I'm carrying some raw chicken and some <laughs> feathers. I didn't realize I was carrying those, but that's cool. I'll chuck them in this chest. Uh, so anyway, how this works is I pull this lever to start the system. Whoa! And I'll have a tutorial at the end of this on on how to build it. Um, but I pull this lever and it will stop this water channel. And it will open up this top section up here. Here. And allow the chickens who are quite happy um, <laughs> down into the bottom parts. And so yeah. So let's uh, let's do that and let's uh, make ourselves some chicken meat. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure why there's no eggs coming down, but that's okay. We don't have to worry about that. And this is to fire the egg thing. So that stops that. And now I pull out my wheat. That's why I had wheat in my hand. And the chickens will come looking for it. Come, chickens. There we go. <laughs> uh, KFC on demand. Now the reason you hold wheat is so they don't just lurk on top of the thing. Um, because they have a, hi a habit, good old chickens, of uh, just staying put on top of the flames. I know it's pretty stupid, but they do. And yeah, I don't know why they do it. So, looks like there's no more. So let's pull this lever. And there we have KFC. Pretty amazing. But I've got everything organized, so I'll put those in there, and those in there. Now, if you're wondering how I did that, I'll show you that as well, it's pretty cool. So, we we'll just fire this, and it just fires eggs. Not having much luck there, though. But, um, anyway, so the system is, is made so that, um, to be easily recyclable, you can hear the chickens being born. Um, oh, I didn't kill all the chickens up here, what do you know? But these guys up the top here, will continue to lay eggs and whatever which will fall through and underneath there. Um, I can't really fly or anything because I've got it in normal but you can see there uh, the items fall down and then go through that chute. So anyway, uh, one, one moment I'll show you how to make this. Before I do that I'm just going to show you this little chute thing here which is for the baby chickens. The baby chickens come up this chute when they're done uh, <laughs> trying to fight the current. Why am I holding wheat? And there we go. That part's pre pretty simple, but I'll, I'll come back in creative mode and I'll show you how to make this. Oh, we're out of eggs. And this is for where I this is where I keep my wheat, so that the uh, the chickens can um, so that when you go to you know get the chickens, you just pull the wheat out and you're good to go. So yeah, let's uh, take a look. So we go some eggs, and I'll right, show so you. Those who are familiar with my old tutorial will remember that my previous one was nine by nine, so the area in between was seven by seven, but nine by nine of the outer parts, um, and that it all went to the middle. Now the difference that we have in between this design and the design that I just showed you is not a whole lot actually 
Um, what I've basically done is I've got my normal 9x9 nine nine section and then I've built higher. So let's uh, expand upwards. Now it's a good idea to have this um, external to your base, mostly because chickens in water or, uh, cause lag. The sound and of them both clucking and splashing um, causes a lot of lag. Now I like to use glass because well, glass is boss, and um, and so I'll just quickly fill out right, these side parts. And, and um, I moved this up in the air a little bit more just as um, so that it would be easier to put things underneath and to work with the channel and such. Now I've, you have to instead of putting the hole in the middle as we're used to doing, um, we'll do that in the, for the top layer. We're putting the hole on one side, so we're picking a side where we want our chicken eggs to fall down, and chickens I guess in the end, um, and we're doing that. Now this is for that, so the chickens can't come go through there, and also we need to do this as well. Just keep that in mind, that's going to be very important, and I'll show you why it's important in a moment, and that. So the reason for that is so the chickens can't go on top of this block and they, they still splash around, but it doesn't stop them when this goes back from going through. So let's um, place some water in here and, and take a look. So we place water in the corners, and as you notice, there's a little triangle there. Now the reason I have this here is because it still pushes like that, whereas if I was to um, destroy those blocks, there's, the chickens will be trapped in the side. So we do this, and this, to get rid of those two, those three spots there. So now all the chickens get pushed to this point where their eggs will constantly fall down this chute. And so it's pretty cool. But as you can see, this is still going to push against here. Now there's not, I haven't figured out a way to, to stop that from happening at this point, but the, I'm still working on that. Um, alternatively, you can do that. Uh, a few more times, but it just limits your area, so I decided not to. Um, also, you can change the um, the elevation, which which also does work. So, like, make this part higher than this part, which works in in many circumstances, such as in um, mob grinders and so forth. But I just didn't want to have to do that. Uh, I wanted to look a bit neat, so oh, I wanted to look as neat as possible, and so I didn't do it. Now, one thing I should have got in my inventory, which I didn't up until now, is signs place that. So signs um, are for the next layer. You need to place signs as follows all the way down and oh you know what, I'll bring you back when I'm when I've built this layer of signs. Right, so now we're on the next layer. Um, as you can see we've got all our signs and they're all good. Um, you can actually and I, I probably I will uh, actually rise this up one more. There we go. Didn't have to take send you away for that one. But in this one, just simply put water in the corners and it sends the chickens to this point here in the middle. Now the eggs are going to fall freely down here and go into the chute. So this is for the chickens that um, that will stay in your, your pen. Now you don't have to do this, but I do this for lighting um, and so forth, so it keeps the chickens nice and lit. So I place a block like that. or even two blocks, just so there's no, so the chickens are all, um, and that as well, so it's like a drain, it doesn't really matter, but it just kind of stops um, chickens from getting on top of blocks and stuff, and it makes it nice and lit. Uh, depends on what you're looking for or what you want to build, but make sure you light the place up because, you know, it, it looks better. So, yeah, that's, um, that's the basics of the, the major construction. Um, like I said, not much has changed here, it's just we've added another layer below or above, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. Now for the water channel, what I did on my other one, the one I just showed you before, was I, um, I made it go that way. But this one, I want to make it come underneath itself, and the reason for that is because, um, it's just a lot more space efficient, and so we're going to make it go underneath. So I'm going to build a quick canal, and so I'll now we have the right bottom back. section. Um, I'm try, I'll try to, I tried to make this as uh, uncomplicated as possible, but I might have overcomplicated it by doing too much too quickly. Um, either way, I'll have it up for download, both of them, um, this world and the one I was, um, where I had it in the other one. But pretty much what you do is you build a, a canal straight down. I've turned that off just so I can come up. This is where this comes down, and this goes underneath. 
So about three down, this is, or two down, most likely, actually no, it has to be three down because chickens are going to be bobbing. So three down, and you want to place water here, but I'll place it in a minute just because I want to show you the rest of this. So you place, this channel here needs to be eight blocks long, um, so four with stone and four with signs. That's very important and I'll, you'll see why in a minute. So the reason for that is, as you can see, the water sits on top of the signs. And um, when we place items, so let me throw that netherrack. The netherrack will come down eventually. And it will, should, fall right through the signs. So that's to show you what the eggs are going to do. So while the eggs fall straight through, the chickens continue to float across here to the flames, which will be on this nether rack. So um, the second channel, which is two blocks below, and we have a piston right here. Um, so this is uh, the other one starts about here, but we start two blocks in further, just because we want this one to finish two blocks later. So this, here's this. It'll finish one, two. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We might move it one more. No, actually, it should be fine. No. Okay. Let's move it one more. Now, the reason I'm moving it one more is just um, because we've modified the direction of the design. It's modified a, f a few of the uh, the directions and so forth. And the last thing we want to do with this is to um, is to run out of room. So this is going to come through and stop the water. The water will be sitting right here. Actually, I'll make this out of stone. That's our water channel. And the water will finish up here. The final water channel. The side of the glass. So we place this... Uh, here. And as you can see, it finishes there. So that when the chicken... So you can conceal it better as well. But that's so that when the chickens are through here, they can go either direction. They can go backwards or forwards, and you're concealing all of your your work. So this is your face. This is the um the place where everything comes down. Mind you, this will be out of stone, so you won't see all of that. And a few more things you might want to add as well. These are just um, possible things to add. Uh, Trapdoor. Trapdoors are pretty cool because. Um, the thing about trapdoors is mobs seem to think that they're uh, solid states, so they go to walk on them like normal. It can, that can be very useful, especially when you have things following you, um, to persuade them a lot easier to follow you. Because um, mobs aren't as quick to jump off cliffs if there's a, a sol if they think there's a solid cliff there, but if you can deceive them, um, they're more willing to to jump off. Anyway, that's unimportant. So basically, this is the system. You've got one channel above, which is uh, two blocks, three blocks um, further than the other one. Three blocks back further, and then this one goes here. Now we need flint and tinder to light that, but otherwise this is pretty much done. You've pretty much got your entire um, flaming bit. Now you're probably wondering also now how we do the uh, the redstone and how we um, we send the new baby chickens on their way. Let's uh, look into that. So if, let's um, build, I guess, a, a nice bit of wall here. Let me get all my materials and I'll come right back. All right, cool. So we place a lever. <laughs> Lincoln, you missed it, eh? Um, and coming out of the lever, this piston. Now the reason we put a piston there is so we can go two directions, one here and one here. One goes to this piston for that to go off and on. So that disables that water. And I forgot about that. Cool, it doesn't affect it anymore. Alright, so, and actually while I'm there, let's light that, that cookie. There we go. So that's all ready to go. So we've got this part ready, and our piston over here gets connected by this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, and 13. That's it. Pretty simple. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 actually. I miscounted that. No, it must be 13 because of that one as well. So that's... Yeah. The default state of that is um, off. So we need to also invert this now because as you can tell from... Actually, that's probably a better idea. Because that way, when this is on, this one up here, that little, that piston, when that's on, this is, uh, that piston's off. Otherwise, when they're um, on at the same time, we're going to have the wrong effect. Because the, the problem is, if we have this water channel going, that's why we have this, if we have this water channel going while the, um, the birds are in flame, then we're going to put out the flame right away. So this kind of gives them a bit more time to to burn out and then we can pull the lever again and they come swimming down again. So that's that part. Fairly simple. Like I said, this is our, our wall of whatever room we want. Underground, on top of the ground. If you want a house or something, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so now let's build the other one. We can build it... Um, actually, let's put, we put the dispenser here because it's more in reach. So we put our dispenser right here. So we can just go... Yep, I'll put eggs in there, and we're ready to go. So, now what I did in the other one, as you saw, was place walls here. So it's like a, a nice 5x5 um, five five room. Place a lever on here. So you can put the things in there, put the lever straight away. Now what I did in the other one, was I had two channels going through. One was here, for a piece of redstone here, and here. Actually, no, I had a block here. That's right. So a block and a piece of redstone. Now on this one, place that. On this one, place that. So this one then connects to... Um, this is our switch for our clock. But it also, when we do it, it fires that because it's close to that. So, you know, either way it's going to fire the first shot. So when we come through, we've got that redstone coming through there. Um, I had the other one embedded, but you can do it however you want. There's a lot of different clock designs you can do. Um, I prefer just the old... Whoa! Frame rate. Frame rate is horrible. Anyway. Um, this one just basically connects to... Let me do it! Hold on. Yeah. Alright, connects to this. Oh wow. Okay, so my um, my virus scanner just came back to me and told me it had found a virus. So, sorry for the interruptions and such, but let's get back into it. <laughs> Not very often that happens. So anyway, this is just a basic clock. Um, I have this go un underneath here, as well as go out to here. So this is... Huh, hold on. Yep, sorry. My uh, virus scanner has been, it's all proud of itself now. It's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm the man. I found this virus. So, whatever. Because um, I was a bit zealous the other day. I decided I was going to make myself a, um, a new title thing for my, for my videos and stuff. And so I downloaded a program thinking everything was sweet. And it turned out to be a virus, so my computer's been in haywire mode ever since. And I've had a few errors and stuff, but it seems to be all good now. So anyway, that's uh, it's pretty good. I'm, ha I'm pretty happy with that. So... No. And... What am I doing? Yeah, I'll just do that. Whatever. It doesn't need to be complicated. This is just a basic clock. This goes through there, which powers this block, and, I, and so forth. So as you watch here, we add a delay to it as well. Forest never ending it, never ending at this place. But as you can see, it's um, as long as you have three torches that lead into each other, you can make a basic clock. It's not complicated. Um, 
and that fires whatever's in here, so let's fire a couple of signs, <laughs> why not? And yeah, so let's make our channel. We've got our clock, let's make the channel. Now I did mine too wide um, when I did the other. You don't need to, but I did. Actually, um, one thing you do need though, and these are going to be very handy, are uh, signs and stone and stairs. So, where's my sign? <laughs> I'm so sloppy, I haven't made a tutorial in so long, I'm just not prepared in any sense of the word. So I do hope you'll forgive me. Two, three, four, five. Now you need to go up as much as you can, as as fast as you can, because we need it to come out here. Actually, no, we need it to come out here now, because it's on the other side. So one way to do that is we can possibly go around the entire system, which could work. Alternatively, we could just go up, around, and that would probably actually be the easiest. So we do this. For another one, um, it's like so. Now this is going to be our channel, so the water is actually going to go up on all of these. Um, so we do that, then we're going to encase this as well. Let me just really quickly build it and then I'll bring you right back. Alrighty, so I built a quick um, you know, tunnel upwards. Now you might be wondering what the hell this is, and I'll explain it to you in just a moment. What we need to basically do is... Um, build now a wall around this so to encase it so the chickens will come up through here and this will all be um, able to stop the chickens from or it will make the chickens go basically straight up there's going to be nowhere else for the chickens to go so we build up our walls <laughs> and it happens to be a low roof here which is fine because that doesn't actually interrupt anything else and now ground surface can be wherever you want it to be. This can all be underground, however you want to do it. But it's going to be harder to conceal things if it's all um, above ground. So just keep that in mind. Now, so the water comes up here. This channel here is where the chickens are going to um, ascend. And what? I'm going to do the rest of it and I'll quickly bring you back. Alright, so we've uh, concealed it all pretty well now, um, so we should we can walk all the way through here and everything is completely concealed and watertight. So what we do is get a water bucket, like so, <laughs> I had to quickly uh, pull down my inventory, and every time you reach stairs, put a sign before the stairs and go on further. Now one thing you notice here is that the water travels up. so chickens will be pushed straight up the stairs. And then another sign. And this continues on until now that we've got all the, um, the water channel all the way up to the top, the next important part is to dig through. Now the problem with digging straight through is we affect the water flow. So one way to, uh, to get through this is to put a sign here without the A's. <laughs> Actually, no, not here. Here, that, and then place a sign. No, on there. So the water hits there. You can also have it on this side, which probably would be neater. So let's do that instead. There we go. Now it looks a bit un. It uh, doesn't look as nice as some things, but you're not going to look at this too much. So the, the chickens up here will sit, lay their eggs, whatever. And the chickens down here will also lay eggs. But these will be the ones that will um, be for eating. And so, <laughs> ironically, there's a chicken. So we now have our little room here, which you can make it however you want. Um, as long as this front, this starting part is um, as long as the starting part is like this you can also have it expand out whatever you can make this go lower there's a lot of different things you can do with it and let me just do that so I can do that so yeah that's okay. it in a nutshell 
um, like, a, like I was saying earlier, I think. Um, you can make this end room however you'd like, um, but be aware, the closer you have this to your, um, your base, the more lag you're going to get. But, um, that's, that's all part of the fun, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I hope you can use this, hope you can, you've gained something from this tutorial. I've tried to, uh, <laughs> um, make it somewhat usable, um, but I haven't made a tutorial in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm Steve-O, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah.